MLM, how to choose a sponsor. It's Mark Sheamus. I've been a top promoter in this industry for a long time. 31 years I've been in the field of network marketing. I've made multi seven figures. And when I was in my early days in the industry, I made the huge mistake many times of just joining with the first person that told me about an opportunity. I wouldn't do much research at all. So the question becomes, how do you choose a sponsor? So if you're like a lot of people that come in this field, this, this magical residual income arena, they don't give a lot of thought to it. They literally will just join up and they go by the seat of their pants and they pray and hope that they can make it happen. They don't really have much skills. They don't put a lot of effort in. And quite frankly, the people that are their sponsors don't have a lot more knowledge than they have being very transparent and honest with you. So what is a better solution? Well, the better solution is what I've done the better part of 20 plus years, which is I don't just join with the first person that tells me about the opportunity or if I hear about an opportunity. I don't join with the first person that I see a result of that is promoting it. I want to find out a few main factors that I'm going to cover with you right now. Number one, I want to make sure that the person I'm working with is actually engaged in the opportunity. They're not going to be a program jumper. They're not going to be somebody that is promoting five other network marketing companies all at the same time, or they're going to be the person that sees the grass is greener and sun around their opportunity every two months. So you join up with them and you're all excited to get started and build and work that opportunity. And then, oh my God, what happened to my sponsor? They are all of a sudden promoting some other opportunity. So you're all excited but now you're without a sponsor. You're without somebody that literally can work with you and help you and show you how to win because they themselves have abandoned ship. They're telling you that they don't believe anymore in that opportunity. This is why they're promoting something else. I don't care what they say, but their actions will tell you otherwise. It's okay if someone has other businesses outside of network marketing, that's fine, that's okay. But the problem is, is that when they are trying to promote to you and they're beginning multiple multi-level businesses or network marketing businesses all at the same time, that's an issue. Or if they completely abandon, they're no longer promoting that business, that's the issue. I would stay away from these types. These program hoppers, these I'm gonna do multiple streams of income kind of people, multiple streams, it only works when you have a massive amount of success already in a company, and then you're able to focus some attention and time to growing a new venture. You can't do it when you're starting off there and you haven't even started to make five, ten thousand a month. That's just stupid. That just doesn't make any sense at all. The second thing that I look for is somebody that long term has already made money in this industry. Now, it's true. You may have someone that's really amazing that's just getting started and they're brand new to the industry and they would make a really great sponsor. But it's better to shorten your own learning curve by being around somebody who's a seasoned veteran that already has weathered the storm and had to learn a lot of lessons. They had to go through the growth. They had to, they themselves get in the trenches and figure out how to make money in this industry. You wanna work with somebody that hasn't figured out how to make money in the industry? You wanna work with somebody that's gonna quit whenever they get too difficult on things? They don't know how to prospect people? That's their first skill right there. If you don't know how you can prospect people, then you're not going to be able to do well in anything that's sales related. Let's be real. Being able to recruit people is a primary skill in network marketing. So you want to have a sponsor that is good at sponsoring other people. I'm not saying that they need to sponsor a thousand people or more. I'm talking about they are very good and the quality of who they bring in is good. I'd rather have somebody who only brought in 20 people, but the 20 people, 10 of them are amazing marketers then the person who brings in a thousand that goes only one level deep because they're not very good at training. They're not very good at duplicating because they don't know how to do that. Their only skill is recruiting. So you have to find somebody who has some balance there. The third thing, that's what it leads me to. Number three is you want to have a sponsor that is good at helping to guide you about how to duplicate their results. Because in this industry, you only get paid on what duplicates. You cannot make money on things that don't duplicate. So for a person who's a great recruiter, but they're not good at training, they stumble because they're always having massive attrition in their group because they really are horrible at getting their team to clone themselves. 
So the better recruiter, the better uh, sponsor is going to be the person that they're able to help get you to develop some skills so that you know how to recruit. You know how to help your own people. They help you to become as strong as you can as soon as possible so that number one, you become more independent and two, you're able to help your own people instead of that person always being the go-to person that has to do everything. I never wanted to just have a job, a J-O-B just over broke. Who wants to have a full-time job babysitting people? Whether in traditional, what they call traditional work, meaning that you're going out there working for maybe someone else, or in network marketing where you're more independent. You don't want to be full-time stuck having to babysit people. You wanna help people, people that want things to happen, motivated people. So that's the third thing is helping people to get trained, to learn, to duplicate the results that you have. The fourth thing is somebody who actually is accountable and they will respond back to you when you need the help. They'll be available for you. Doesn't mean at that second, but it means that you're able to either schedule with them and say, hey, I need help with this prospect that's already looking at the information of the company. Or somebody that you can text message, you can call, you can say I'm stuck on something and then they'll be able to get in touch with you and help you. And I'm not talking like three days later or a week later or never. I'm talking they can get back to you sometime within a few hours, unless there's an emergency or they don't have internet, they're traveling in a plane or something, right? So the person's able to get back to you, see what they can do to help you, point you in the right direction, because that's what we get paid for in this industry is become professional pointers. I got other videos talking about that, but that's what we're really good at. And that's what it's about. So number four, you want to have a sponsor that's accountable to help you when you need the help. And number five, number five, you want somebody that actually is not a jerk. You want somebody that actually is a decent human being. Now that's, I know it sounds like a silly, really silly, simple point. I've had some people that were my sponsors. They were alleged top promoters in the industry. A few of those people still get pushed up on the pedestal as if they're like God's gift. They're amazing. But I can tell you from firsthand, they're horrible people. They don't have that personality to love other people. They do it only if it makes them look good. You want somebody that's willing to go the extra mile even if no one notices, even if no one gives them the pat on the back, even if they don't get paid for it. You want the person who really cares about people. They love people. It's a people industry. So that's what you want. You want those five components. That's what you want in a sponsor. Someone that's willing to go the distance and really help you and cares about your success. They don't just do it because they make a buck off of your back and the back of the people that you bring in in your organization. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you're looking to find a good sponsor in network marketing, these are the five factors that you really should look at and consider. And if you're looking for a great business mentor, partner, and business for you to work on, I would love to be that person for you as the mentor, as a business partner, as your coach. And I have an amazing business, which is growing very quickly. I would love for you to be a part of and work with me. In the description of this video, I have that link. You can easily go there and see what I'm doing anytime. In the meantime, make it a great day. Subscribe to my channel, like and comment. And I can't wait to see you on the next video. I want to see you have success. Please comment. Tell me if you feel about these points that they're spot on. They're right on. Because this is my experience over the last three plus decades in the industry. I wish that I knew in my early years these things. Because I floundered for a good 10, 11 years. And I would join with all kinds of people that didn't have my best interest. That didn't have all these five factors in my first 10, 11 years. After that, it's been just through the moon and back. And here's my sixth point. This is the bonus point. Yeah, you thought that you were done. <laughs> okay, number six. Because they are a top producer themselves with all those first five qualities, they produce a lot of results. You want to have a sponsor and you want a company that has a binary compensation component. Because in every other component, it's not going to pay you as well if you have a top producing sponsor, a binary because they're going to blow up a huge amount of common volume in one of the organizations, one of the legs that you both share together. And if that person is this incredible person, incredible sponsor and producer, that means that a huge amount of what they do for bringing people in, both customers and promoters into their business, 
a big part of that becomes part of your business, which means that person you chose to sponsor not only emulated and they had all of those incredible first five qualities, but they also have the ability to help make you a lot of big money as well. And that is huge because that's why you're doing this business. You're here to make money. So choose your business partner wisely. Your sponsor is your greatest asset when it comes to choosing this business. Do it wisely. I'd love to be that person for you. I've had a lot of success. I can be that for you if you want. If you haven't already joined uh, any program which allows you to have those factors, then reconsider what you're doing. Reconsider possibly working with me. And let's make those things happen together so you can create whatever future you want. See you on the next video. Love everybody. Take care.